Specialist is one of the most unique class in Orknex, capable of fulfilling multiple roles such as crowd control, tanking, shifting, and damage. What makes them stand out even more is that even when some operators share similar role, each has distinctive approach to fulfilling it. This variety makes Specialist considered to be the most versatile class in the game. The release of the new 6-star Specialist, Dorothy, only adds to this versatility. Dorothy is a 6-star Specialist in the Trapmaster archetype, joining Robin and Frost. This archetype specializes in the use of traps, which can be deployed on unoccupied tiles to deal damage and inflict various effects on enemies who triggers them. They are similar to the abilities of summers, allowing them to contribute across the entire map, making them sometimes referred to as a pseudo-summoner. Before delving into Dorothy's analysis, let's first get a basic idea of what a trap master typically does by briefly examining existing trap master. Frost and Robin are very much similar as they both offer crowd control through their traps. While Robin places greater emphasis on utility by providing a longer bind duration or a push, Frost focuses more on dealing damage at the expense of a shorter crowd control duration. Dorothy's design does not differ significantly from that. However, she does improve upon their designs by addressing some of its flaws and enhancing its overall strength, in which this video will try to explore. Looking at her stats, she has similar numbers to those of an anti-air snapper. In fact, slightly better with higher attack and lower attack and fall. This makes her capable of dealing with low defense enemies using just her auto attack. Additionally, her low DP cost enables her to be deployed early, allowing her to set up her traps. That said, while individual traps are cheap to use, this cost can easily pile up in the long run. Dorothy first talent is similar to the generic trap master talent, but with added effect of immediately summoning two traps within her range. This talent serves two purposes. First, it allows her to start her trap game even faster, and the second, it enables her to play into a redeploying strategy. One problem that Trap Master previously had was that they took some time to start making impact as you want multiple traps to set up. It also feels bad to redeploy them because they had to reset their traps and set them up again from scratch. Dorothy's added trap helped to alleviate this issue by providing a few traps that are ready to go immediately. Her second talent is an attack buff that stacks for every trap activated. This talent provides up to 24% attack buff which may seem relatively low but when combined with her stats and her skills, which use attack scaling, it provides a decent damage boost. This allows her to deal with medium to even high defense enemies. All of these talents are useful, but on their own, they are not enough to make Dorothy a strong operator, as they simply offer slight improvement to her lower rarity counterparts. However, her skill is what will make or break her kit. Dorothy's first skill makes her mind deals a massive physical damage on top of inflicting a defense debuff for 5 seconds. Number wise, this skill sounds very good. That said, this skill is arguably one of her weakest skills. Why you might wonder? If you have played Trap Master before, you may have noticed one of their weaknesses. That is, traps are designed for single target, as the idea is for them to handle isolated enemies. There usually isn't a problem with this necessarily. However, due to the way the traps work that is requiring deployable melee tiles, there is a limitation on how much traps you can set up. This coupled with the possibility of traps being wasted on random mobs often makes trap master inefficient to use. Dorothy's first skill isn't much different from that. In most cases, you rarely need that high damage and defensive buff on a single target. Furthermore, the awkward range of her traps makes it difficult to use when you could have used another debuffer instead. This is where Dorothy's second and third skill comes into play. Both skills share similarities in that they deal damage and crowd control effect. The second skill deals physical damage and binds enemies, while the third skill deals arch damage and slows. What sets her apart from other trap masters is the fact that both of these skills are AoE, which makes each trap much more impactful. This added AoE capability ensures that fewer traps are wasted on random mobs and allows each trap effect to reach more possible targets. Combined with the fact that her second skill has a decent bind area, this skill becomes a viable way to stall enemies, rivaling the likes of Ethan and Magalan. Meanwhile, her third skill massive 2 tile range, on top of the capability of chaining with other traps within its range, allows for a lot of global shenanigans, resulting in significant area damage and slows. It's no surprise that Dorothy is often compared to the likes of Magalan, as they play somewhat similarly. Both of Dorothy's second and third skill have potential both in general play and in a low operator count scenario, especially in the latter with her third skill being slightly favored due to its higher numbers. Dirty 2 has some extra tech that you can integrate into your gameplay. 
The way her first town works is by deploying and resetting trap cooldown really quickly. As it turned out, it is actually possible to deploy a trap within the short time after deployment, which will then result in another trap cooldown reset, allowing her to set an extra trap faster. Another attack involves her third skill. On this skill, trap consists of two parts, the effect portion, which deals damage and slows, and the chain portion, which activates nearby traps in rage. The cool thing about it is that these two parts does not happen at the same time, but rather have a short delay between them. This can actually be abused by simply retreating her traps as soon as the effect triggers, preventing the chaining from occurring, making the whole mechanics of the skill optional. As a result, you can stack traps together without sacrificing the effect duration due to the 2 second chain delay. That being said, there are some inherent flaws with Trap Master like that affects Dorothy's performance. One of the main issues is that it can be very DP intensive to farm her traps, which makes her less favorable in DP type scenarios such as Contingency Contract. Additionally, while the AoE effect of her second and third skill might have helped her to be useful, there is still a limitation to the number of traps that can realistically be deployed due to the trap mechanics, which is the reason why I am hesitant to provide specific numbers such as DPS, as the actual damage upward from her skill is not solely limited by the trap cooldown, but also by the number of traps that can be effectively used based on the specific map and enemies. With that said, Dorothy is an interesting operator with a unique playstyle thanks to her trap mechanic. While she may not be the strongest operator in terms of raw power, her utility and crowd control effect can be extremely useful in various situations. And with her second and third skill providing AoE damage and crowd control, she becomes a versatile operator that can handle groups of enemies effectively. Overall, she's not only a solid addition to any team, but also one of the most fun units released this year.